Yeah. Yeah. Getting caught up from last year. Never left. That would be a true That's statement. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the body of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning, everybody. Morning. Call the meeting to order. We do have a quorum. I'm going to take the motion to approve the agenda and then we'll have a I'll second it. All right. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, aye. 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 Both. Gary is one rich. Long. The video point one that's on the now that's um so what I've got for this morning is we talked about those six uh bridges Culbert saying that we want to get designed as a lump sum package. So I've got a contract here from WHKS to to do the uh preliminary design on those hydraulics. So it'll be survey hydraulics preliminary design. Um roughly runs about $6,400 a bridge. So it's about $38,500, including their expenses to come out here, which is probably pretty reasonable considering I wouldn't be able to get to that many bridges in one time. And looking at um, doing those designs or at least getting the preliminary stuff done. And then hopefully we do a local letting by October, maybe earlier if we could. Yes. And we're all, we're assuming that we're going to be able to just probably put either regular culvert centers or box culverts depending on how the, the hydraulics go with these so some of them might be where we wouldn't have to run much other than if we've got a house by some of those that are if you already got an existing box next to the shell rock or something it's not going to take much but the other ones might take a little bit more and we're assuming that we won't have to put any bridges back in so that's the assumptions right now we'll find out when we get through the design or preliminary stuff where we're headed but i think for the most part we can assume they're going to be smaller structures but we get this through and we can get a hold at least when the construction contract comes through we know what we're going to be going through so i'd recommend we approve the 38.5 for those six bridges and then in about a week or so when i get back from vacation we'll probably be getting one for 390th there to get that one rolling but that's going to take federal bridge money or not the, the state bridge money or whatever we're using versus the local stuff okay. all right take a motion to approve the whks contract for our bridges oh my god motion I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all favor aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? Ready. Well, I've got for you other than I'll be gone Friday through Friday. But as much as I hate it, I'll have my phone if something really needs to be discussed. So, for anything, the architects. Not yet. Yeah. Actually, parents started working on that. I owe you a letter as far as I go. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you. Yes. Dan, keep the deputies away from 105 on my way to Metro County. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Right, thank you. Go <laughs> All right. We're going to drainage. Um, we need to look at the reclassification annexation reports for drainage districts 14 26 46 48 and 34. jacob yep so we're going to recommend annexation into drainage for 46. there's a map the uh, areas that are attached for recommend annexation for them including silver lake uh for drainage for 14 just right south town we're recommending annexing some properties that are kind of on the outer limits that are egg land that benefits from the new facilities being constructed this fall. And then in range of 26, range of 26, there's a district within 46, just on the east side of the interstate. Um, there's just a few parcels that are up on the upper end that we're recommending annexation for. And then along with that, we are, we've reclassified 14, 26, 46, 48 and 34. Um, 34 and 14 will be the only two that we want to assess for this year. Okay. So we'll need to schedule a hearing, which we tentatively already put for June 25th. Mm -hmm. We're going to be approved today for both of those 14 and 34. The other ones we can wait to do afterwards because there is no expense except for reclass expense. Yeah. Okay. Wait, they may be doing them before harvest. 
you know, I think we still do the hearings this summer okay. to give Val some time so she's not trying to put out. Yeah, 14 and 34, I'd like to push through so we can use those classification schedules for this. So we can mm -hmm. mm -hmm. get those done right away and then we can get into like August or something with the others. And yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I will get those two this afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so we need a motion to accept the reclassification and annexation reports for drainage district 1426, 46, 48, 34. Oh, my turn motion. Okay, is there a second? I'll second that. All right, any discussion on any of those? Hearing none, in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so now we need to set public hearing dates for the reclass on 14 and 34. 34. So it works you guys Tuesday, June 25th, 9 a.m. 14 a.m. And then 9.15 for the 14 reclass. And then 10 a.m. for the 34 reclass. Because I'll be publishing the paper next Wednesday, 20 days after that will be done. What's the ads as soon as you that? Yes, we'll do it. So, yeah, there's a motion to set public hearing dates for June 25th. Is there a second? A second. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Uh, Lobert, all right, Smitty, all right, Stone, all right. Okay, those public hearing dates may be set and posted, and we will maybe look into the others. The next week or two. Okay. Anything else for us, Pedro? Um, well, you know, 34 is progressing pretty well. The audience is out there. Um, they have hit sand. I think we all kind of expect it. an idea. Um, but it has slowed them down a little bit. They're about half done with the, with the project so far. Going sure. good otherwise? Yep, going good. Um, we'll probably have a pay application we'll file this week okay. for, for your next week. Okay. Going good. And then they're still working on 14. Uh, 14, they will not start work on until after crop sucked. Okay. We're going to get down with 34, and then they've got some jobs for state, but then box culverts. So they're going to wait until after crop out okay. for 14. Which that's okay. good, I guess. Yeah. yeah, less so. There are no crop damages. Mm -hmm. is better. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else then? We're good. That's all I have. Okay. Um, we've got some work orders to look at. DD18 main, and that's the one with all channel. Yeah. Um, now when they made a repair, found what's going on. Oh, uh, mess. Really? Paul can talk if he wants. Yeah, to. Paul. I, I talked to Paul last week and Rognus. Can't name one feet he dug up, but it was pretty well filled up with roots, and he would like to go farther to get blowage. And there's still a lot of water there, isn't there, Paul? Yeah, Pete, but he he doesn't know, you know, if if for some reason he'll run out of it. Where he where he started, he just kept digging back toward the outlet, and he got to where the water it would take the water, and then just keeps progressing west um, up toward the blacktop. And he just hasn't run out of roots yet. And he'll run into a little stretch where it's not bad, but then it it gets bad again. Um, he noticed that the tile isn't in good shape. And the further west he gets, the more gaps that get in the tile. And that's where the roots are going in. So he said, you know, he doesn't know why it is that way, but that's that is the way it is. So fairly shallow in there too isn't it Paul yeah it is pretty shallow yeah he he said he would dig down I don't know exactly how deep it is but I I know he would dig just a little bit and he was like three feet above the tile and water would boil up through the dirt he couldn't even get down to the tile it's, it's loaded then. yeah there's still water yeah. coming up above isn't there I, I got the yeah water, so yeah yeah, it's still outside the waterway, and and we still have water up on the top end. It did start to go a little bit yesterday, but um, it's still 
full to the top of the intakes. Well, I hate to spend a bunch of money well, when we got to get into a project, but we kind of got to get it open too. It's, we kind of already okayed a little bit of repair, at least research there to get it going. And, and it's there's probably a half a mile or almost a mile of water on top of the ground yet. And you're going to have to get that opened up before we can really even, I mean, Sort of just going in there and start digging an open ditch all the way up. I mean, that's right. for now, you got to get in there and at least get it dried out for the guys to plant. I mean, well, and that's what Jeremy was saying. It's it's hard for him to even work, you know, because he said, it, I mean, where he's at, he's able to keep working and getting it freed up. But I mean, you couldn't really do any project until we get rid of the water anyway. No. Right, right. So, I mean, is it possible to just Make somewhat of a small open ditch. Yeah, so that's kind of let it flow. Yeah, that's basic. That's basically what he's doing. He's just digging mm -hmm. the tile out and making a little open ditch. Basically, yeah, that's about exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I've never done it, but I know it's been done. Where you've done, we've done an old tile, and then you're going to repair it anyway. So you just crush the old one six months before. Right. That's kind of, there's kind of some gray area. I think that's been done before. Right. So I, I guess if we can get it opened up and just get get it flowing until we can get it there until it gets dried out, and then in the meantime we can have the engineers glance over the report that we yeah, got so a few years ago. I, I looked at the report. Have you? Okay. Is, is there a way that? Um, and I don't know the process, but I don't know at that time. I know we did talk about an open ditch, but that isn't what was in the plan. Is there a way that? The engineer would look at that and say, well, let's have an open ditch this far, you know, because we're going to have to go under two blacktops and, the and whether and the railroad, um, whether an open ditch would even work or mm -hmm. could we do it so far and then go to a tile or, you know, we're not necessarily opposed to an open ditch on ours either. We just need the drainage. It's it's just got you know put off too long sure. mm -hmm. yeah well like, like i said i guess we kind of already approved for you to get that thing open and flowing so um okay kind Jeremy of let me do what he needs to yeah, yeah do what it takes to try to get that thing drained because mm -hmm. like i say we can't do a thing with the way it's gonna go no. full so um in the meantime right. jake you know jacob is here with boltman mink he's gonna go back and look at that again and uh maybe we'll we'll have to just set up a landowners meeting here um maybe next mm -hmm. month Hopefully everybody's done with field work by then to, uh, and get together and see what everybody's thoughts are. It won't matter by then. Yeah. I don't think it's ever going to end this year. <laughs> no. Yeah, we asked for rains too long. Now we're getting it. So yeah, for sure. I think we'll, we'll try to do that. I know um, July we're getting uh, kind of busy when we've got some vacations and stuff coming up. So we'll try to do one maybe towards the end of June or the first part of July. Okay. Yeah, that'll give Val some time to get some postcards yeah. sent out, contact landowners, yeah. and we'll get yeah. together. Yeah. So, yeah. That work for you, Jacob? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we, we don't have much on the plate, so we could get a report out. We'll probably okay. get a report pretty quick. Okay. Like I say, we've got one. We just need to yeah. look at the open ditch option. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul, how does it sound good to you? That sounds great. I appreciate it. Okay, well, we'll start working on our end, and uh, you'll probably see an invitation to a landowner's meeting coming up here soon. And, and we'll Sounds get, great. meet at the end of June or first part of July. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. Thanks. You bet. Okay, so did we already did approve some a work order on that? Yeah. We did. Okay, so we'll leave that alone. Um, I guess we could just take action on uh, having Boltman make look at that report and uh, get ready for a landowner's meeting. Do so you, okay. you want us to do an amendment for the open ditch option? Or uh, right now? I guess I I would. We may as well. You know, we've yeah. got the open ditch on the bottom end already, okay. brought up to the railroad tracks. So, yeah, we can easily. And Paul did say it's starting to erode under the railroad tracks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, just let her go. <laughs> that'll that'll get there. That'll wake them up. Yeah, yeah, that'll get their attention. So, all yeah. right, let's let's do that. I think a motion to um have uh, Boltman Mink look at the uh, DD eighteen main report again and uh, look at an uh, open ditch option for that. I'd make that motion. Okay. 
I'll second that. All right. Any other discussion on it? Hearing none, all in favor, aye. All right. Aye. aye. Opposed? Okay. Go to work on that, Jacob. And um, we'll just, you and Val can stay in touch and we'll try to get something. Uh, maybe next week we'll try to come up with a date of either like June 24th or July 1st, somewhere in there for a landowners meeting. If that works for you. Just go check check your schedule and yeah, let Val know. Over a week's work, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, DD2, Lat G. What's that? Is Isaac Hubby. Oh. As, um, is that just water coming up the intake? Yeah, I think that's what it said. Just coming up the intake. It's flood solid 105. There's two of them, one in the fence line and one over in the middle of the field there. And then one on the north side, just before yeah. you turn yeah, on the on ramp. Right yeah. Hubby's is right here, right? Okay. Yeah, Hubby's is right. That's this one, either yeah. the upper side, and there's one right. There's one there, one there. So like there's one here and one here. They're all boiling. It's got to be restricted. Yeah, these, these are. That one there is right next to the interstate. The one on the other. Oh, it's restricted or it's restricted something. Right. So where does it go? Does it cross the interstate? Oh, it goes. It goes down into the ditch down on two. On two. Oh, on the on the west side of the interstate. Well, no, this goes down and it's going to the south east. And going into the ditch down there. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't too end up over on the other side. Yep. It yeah. crosses yeah. down, cross, crosses yeah. low down below on this. Yeah. It's yeah. But he didn't have anyone in mind to. But as I recall, yeah. water comes yeah. up there all the time. Yeah. It's, it's been restricted for a long It's been a problem for a long time. It's been a problem right. for a long time. Here's, here's a better picture. It comes from up north here, some of these houses comes through here. And just keeps heading this way down to the ditch. That's it. So it goes through sign. Yeah, goes through sign. Yeah. And, uh, I think I think the where it's coming up is on Nelson's. Up in here. Oh, oh on the north part of it. Because I didn't look on going. I didn't come that way this morning. And either. Yeah. You know, if you're, you're there's an intake down there. there. You want to you want to just take a peek <laughs> and see if there's water sitting around those intakes. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, if we can do that. Yep. Okay. If you just want to take a yeah, the other intake is between Hubby and Johnson. Nope. Right up next to the spot. Mm -hmm. okay. Um so who is over that way? Well, they're all somewhat. I mean, you know, got Rugness doing a lot already. Rugness is not far from there. I mean, mm -hmm. there's uh how about Elliot? A1. He's busy too. He's still between farming and I don't know what he's got for ditch work. I don't know right. if he's got any ditches right now or not down south. Or is there any of those? I mean, yeah, he could do some research maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I'll talk to him for a while. Um, he could be far enough maybe. Take a chance, check with Nick, see if he's Nick, where he's at farming. He's still farming all over the field. I think I talk to him last week. I guess I'd start. Probably not today. Right. Oh, it's raining. Uh, I'd check with maybe check with Nick and Elliot. Nick might see what see where they're at, and then maybe even roadless. If not, then just busy is. But right. Well, it's Jerry. I mean, Dad does work too. So yeah, yep. Jerry does work. Yep. Jerry, Jerry check probably do it too. So, so you want to look into that for us? I have that extra pen up by your home. Oh. I ran out of it. Okay, so. Is there a motion to approve the uh, to look into DD2 Lat G? So moved. I'll second that. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Here. Needs to stop raining. Knew this was going to happen. Make no Find all the that. issues yeah. with the tile. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been an issue for two, three years. I need to watch. Somebody well, made that kind of that, that the last three years of drought, and the roots have really sucked up things. So, Falling out the tiles, and there was actually guys that had to go out and dig up their tiles and put intakes in because the water was not getting to them. That's so, what I heard with the, the dust settled in between. Yeah, all your yeah. channels and stuff just mm -hmm. sealed up, and now we got issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's boiling out, there's, there's probably some long term, yeah. and it's always been wet. I mean, it's even when it was dry, it was wet. Yeah. 
All right, uh, we've got some drainage claims and stamp forms. Is there a motion to approve your drainage claim? Yeah, a motion to approve them. Yeah, I can second it. All right, any discussion? Here, no, all in favor, aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? The majority of those are BMW spraying. They don't have the. Um, you know, it looks like they came under, and a lot of them are really close, so. Good. I've seen some that they did. Some a little bit bigger brush, and it looks like it was down towards Fork City and you know, mm -hmm. over that direction. I think it's an exit don't district. I noticed the other day. I'll get my spreadsheet updated and send it out to you guys this time. Okay. All right, Val, is there anything else for drainage? <laughs> I think that's it. Good enough for today. We got our joint meeting in Winnipeg at 10 o'clock today. Yeah. Get that work You got that covered for us? Yes. And I sent you guys the link, so if you want to. YouTube banner phone in, so okay. Yeah, you go to Esterville, so or uh, it looks pretty, so maybe a little bit out of the way. But if I get out of your deep, I might try to sneak down there. Okay, otherwise, that's it for me. Okay, thank you, Jacob. Thank you, thanks, Jacob. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, my regular claims. Was there any questions or comments on any of them? Okay, second time. Okay. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to approve payroll claim. I make a motion to approve the payroll claim. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Here now. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Here. Send that one too. That's pretty long. Okay. Uh, reports. Um, <laughs> payroll eligibility. One for the first one I want. Payroll chain. Yep, there's a payroll chain for Katrina. It will be in effect July 1st. Take a motion to approve or motion by Mark to approve the payroll chain. Is there a second? I'll second it. All right. Any discussion? There are none. All three are Both. This is. I don't think we sign that one. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. All right. They just moved it in the mold. So. You bet. You do it. You want to do that? Do it now? Yes. Yeah. This is a. Um, uh, uh, motion would be to approve um, Katrina to appoint her as a deputy effective July 1st. Yep. Mm -hmm. Motion to acknowledge a new hire. Yeah, she's original. She just motion to yeah. move her to it, a deputy, yeah, deputy position. Deputy position. Yep. Okay, so that's a motion. Yep. I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion on it? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Looks good. All right. So, uh, liquor license? No. No. Right. Pilot, North Iowa Regional Housing Authority. It's kind of our annual. Seven year down. Yep. Basically, we waive the. Uh, We're waiving the taxes. And yep. Or they get in ten percent of their income less than utilities. Yep. With their properties in Northwood and, and Manly. Yep. All right. We're motion to approve the uh the pilot with North Iowa Regional Housing Authority. I'll make that a motion. Yes. Yes, All right. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion carries. I should sign this one, All right? One second. Yeah. You'll fill out the rest? Yep. Okay. Building and grounds. Can we figure out? Like when we have a storm and branches come down, I doubt very much that that was in chain. Dead to come back. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, if he's going to pick up the sticks and the garbage before he mows, he's not well, hanging yeah. out going to pick up branches. Right. Mm -hmm. We should have talked to Rich about that. If there was some way we could get, like maybe conservation or secondary roads, just come over and help. Yeah. I would sure think it's just a matter of, I mean, you could switch different trains every day. First thing they do early on is come in and pick them up and then go do your other job. That doesn't happen that often. No, I hope not. And the city will take them. Just yeah, you just got to get them off of the street. Yeah. We got a truck here to go in my home. I'll go on the dump site soon. Right. I used to. It doesn't make any difference. So and for now, you're right. For now, until we find a part time. Or... Yeah, I mean, then it would be if we get a part time custodian, maybe it would fall into that, unless the branches are too big, then we would still need some assistance. But if we, you know, that was one of the things we offered Brian a part time job, and when he didn't accept it, we decided to look for somebody, but if that doesn't work out, we still got the option of getting a cleaning service yeah. well, to come in and take care of it and then get a hold of Larson's to take care of the boiler. That you didn't know. work for windows. I didn't get one bid. Well, I don't know if people I are think, bid it. I think you just have to hire them. And I also think and it's not, had they're not seeing it. With the window cleaning services that they have in Mason City, I can't believe that somebody wanted to put in a bid on that thing. I, had some I don't think they're, they're just think. not seeing it. So I don't know. Yeah, either not seeing it or they just don't bid on projects. They just, you basically call them up and say, hey, what's this? Come on, take a look at this. What's it going to take? Yep. Or do I have to call people for quotes or something mm -hmm. versus bid? Seems that way, you know. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. That's just my thought, Jackie. Is, and you're right. How many need to fund the anchor, but how many people out of the company oh. actually see the anchor? Yeah, how many people? Or you go online and watch our online, you yeah. know, as some of the people who do for drainage, I know people that watch that pretty regularly, but for something like this, they're not looking for it on a daily basis. And when we do projects with engineering firms, they send it out to the websites that well, it's all take care of the contractors yeah. look at. I mean, I don't know, do you just send them a direct letter but to like two, pick two services and say, hey, we're interested in having you guys do window service, what do you mm -hmm. think the cost would be to do this? Right. I would suppose, yeah. I mean, does that qualify for when I'm doing like an RFP? We've got your competitive quotes. I mean, competitive you know, we're just, it's we're main, just going after it. As long as we get, as long as we get more than one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if we don't get one, or we, we don't, don't get, get two, either, we don't have a choice. choice. Yeah. Um, but, but, people just, but yeah, I think what I just, there's got to be window cleaning services yeah, in the Saragora area, a lot of them. True. We just, they, we haven't hit on the right door. Right. Yeah. So I think we ought to look at that. Because they're in town. Get in touch with them. They'd be there's people in town already doing window services. I mean, yeah. they come to town to clean some of these. Oh, yeah. I see them on Main Street. Well, we, there's yeah. one in the county and there's you know, another one in Saratoga County that we could just send a letter to. That's a letter to do. Just a request to come up and take a look at us. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we need to reach out a little better. I'm sure so, it's yeah. hourly or whatever, more than likely. Yeah, we'll have to look at it. Just yeah. give us a, an idea what it costs. So. And then next would be custodian. You want to put something in the paper, and how, the one thing I wanted to know is how many hours are you guys thinking? Are you thinking four or five hours a day, or? And you guys are more better suited to what you see what goes on in a day. What do you think you need? I mean, I don't. I would think we'd at least want to go five hours and see how it works out. Yeah. And see if they can get everything done that is exactly. supposed to be done. I, I don't know. I I think five would be a good starting on, spot. Uh, you're on the committee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think five would be a good starting spot. Mm -hmm. And but I, information. But I, what I'm saying is, I wouldn't be afraid if we can't find a, a good qualified candidate. We may want to reach out for cleaning service. Yeah. Part time is going to be tough. I think. Oh, I think part time is going to be a tough one to get. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try that route first. And we'll try that route first, and if it doesn't. You know, if it just doesn't look good, there's cleaning services out there. Right. And, if, and they're going to come in probably after hours. Yeah, the cleaning service probably will. Yeah, and see, that was one of the complaints that I heard six, eight months ago here on that board was yeah. right during the middle. They wouldn't come in when there's people here. That's right. Yeah, Joe and Tina would be here. Some of your biggest issues is keeping your restroom stocked. Well, and that's yeah. what that's what we had talked about on the committee. You know, a part timer could do it, but you know, if they're away at another facility, then I mean, we can. I know our office tries to pick up 
a little bit of the slack, you know, a little bit, because it's well, easy to change out the towels real quick, you know, since this is a public building, you know, we've got to have that stuff available and there. Yes. Well, on smart. Friday, I just did a little inventory and I, we're going to have to order stuff again. Good. Good. And they can keep track of that too. They can make sure it's supplied for seven days under normal circumstances. Right. There's always problems, but also they could check our supplies and say, hey, here's a list, order it. There's got to be plenty of businesses out there that actually do hire services like oh, that. Oh, haven't you? Yes. Individual, individual groups. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't, at the elevator over here, I know they have a part-timer. Okay. And you might want to maybe call, or I can ask too at the elevator mm -hmm. and see if they want to tack on. Yeah. Do you know I mean, I, is, but or... now I know she does I want to say it's a she, um, goes in on Sundays over there. But if we could get, I don't know if she has another job, but right. I'm, I'm calling. Uh, you want me to call Dave Quisley? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pick his brain. Or, or, or just let him know that um, yeah. whoever's cleaning that there will be a part-time opportunity. Okay. Here. Just to I'll, I'll give Dave a call for right. today. Then you might be looking for a little more. Yeah. Yeah, if we can make it, you know. You can kind of come and go, check supplies. Yeah. So, so, do the major cleaning after our work on the weekend. We'll talk to Rich on the outside yeah. with the sticks. And mm -hmm. Should have brought that up when he was here. Okay. Yeah. Anything else on the services? I uh, just got to get something figured out. Yeah. Yep. I think we're going in the right direction. Yep. Yeah. Oh, any water in your office window? Okay, so far. No. Okay. Are we having any did concerns? You, we still got talking about the elevator. Yeah, I got. A, I did get a call in. I guess yeah. I was. I didn't put it in as like an emergency. Just the call back question. So I'm open. It's here. been so long. We started at April, first of April. What was the question? <laughs> it was on the, the computer board computer or whatever board to be upgraded yeah well i knew that and that's yeah. what the pricing was for but yeah. what was the question we had for them we wanted Bas to ask them something basically if we can is that we need that or not well do we need to do it or is it readily available so that we just run with this one until it so when, goes when can we, we need or is that a, is that a two three week downtime you know, you know when it's going to go right there. I mean, the courtyard or something. Like that. Yeah, and we won't be able to get handicapped people and up in the courtyard stairs. Course. But I mean, we can just. But that's not to say you stick that new board in there. It doesn't do the same thing. And it was another question was on the phone. Is the phone need to be digital? Digital or analog? Oh. I mean, does it need to go? And the phone it's issue. Just, it's been two months, and I forgot yeah. what the question was. The phone issue would basically, <laughs> if it goes out, we would just. The elevator would probably still operate. I would assume. I guess I it's not at that. Rate. It just wouldn't be in emergency mode. Well, um, Dave wouldn't be happy with us that there isn't a way to call out. Yeah, I, I was written up. Okay. Oh, I think for the upgrade of nineteen, you know, the twenty thousand, it's going to be less than twenty thousand when we get our deductions on there and stuff to get the right computer board in the elevator. So we can, we can say, hey, we've done everything. Is that done the that is that the five year the well the bill is nineteen two ninety and then you get fifteen hundred dollars off if you use a five year if you go with a ten year contract it's twenty five and then you also get uh one month's free maintenance of seventy three ninety one so that's, that's not that much but the other the fifteen hundred off for the twenty five and we have been doing five year contracts yeah well and our and our maintenance has just been auto renewing we yep. haven't just re-triggers every five years, right? I think so. That's right. the way I read the in email. Yeah. But so yeah. We just want to go want to reach out to them and just do a five year deal and just wait. Well, I mean, the I question, but it's not well, it's anything. probably already renewed technically. Right. Yeah. But they would yeah. they would start that for the, yeah. um, they would start it over. I just think we ought to do it, right. get it over with so we know it's working. Before the, yeah, like we you said, it will be a trial. And then that thing will shut down. And even yeah. if it does is a trial and it does shut down and it is readily available, it's still going to take a few days. Absolutely. Right. So, yeah, to get them here. Right. So, got to just got to fix things. Yeah. Yeah, Sometimes. I wish you guys could have talked to the maintenance guy because he knows what he's doing. Right. Yeah, I, and I'm not good at 
Yeah. It's we got to have it. It's in the building. We can't not use it. So yeah. and we can't take a chance on it not. We have to do everything we can to make it a user friendly for the public. So a motion. What's that? So a motion. I'll make a motion to upgrade the uh, elevator with the new computer board. I'll second. Is that on a five year deal? Is that what you'd like to do? Still do a five instead of a ten? I think we ought to go with a five. Okay. Still so, yeah. so there's a motion a second on our elevator agreement. And we'll see when we get that next week or whatever. So, what's her name's probably going to be high. Do you want to see this one? No, I've already. Okay. So, all right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. You want to email Sage? Sage, that's her name. And let her know if Senate's in agreement. We can. Like the meeting instead of going over. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, well, good there. Okay. Jason, top of Iowa water main extension project. Resolution approving contract and uh, morning. Quick update. We're two thirds of the way there with our construction permit. You and I are signed off on the preliminary engineering report. They're signed off on the water main extension. I spoke to have approval this week on the well, well pump replacement. So, CJ Abby. Um, Jackie did share her overall budget where she was at with the ARP dollars. And it's looking to me like we're going to come in under the 700000 by quite a bit. So, we did get a budget number for coating the inside of that small tower as well. We don't have to pull the trigger on it now, but keep that in mind as we get closer to completion and get all the final numbers, there may be enough left over to take care of that as well up there. What was that quote? 40, 42,000, 42, I think it was. 42 is what I remember. Now that the rate flat. We got more than that by far. So we have to figure out some other stuff. Well, we say, we'll see how this, you know, there's always there's things, always things go wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even with that, I was coming in under, so. Right, so we can look into that because I'm sure there may be some other, well, if we wanted to use some of that, we've obviously got more repairs with that wastewater plant. Yes. We've got that. a gearbox and motor. We've, we've got, got that radio stuff. deal. Yeah, so we can we could easily put that into it. Um, we were out there on Friday. Yeah, Jason met out there on Friday. Friday and there's some unknowns still on the water main where it's located over time now too. So they're supposed to be trying to locate it. We we drew it based off of records. And their locates didn't match our records, but I'm not sure that their locates were in the gear, so they're trying to relocate it here again. So yep. worst case scenario, it ends up under the driveway, which means we have to replace pavement at a cost. But I guess that's where it is. That's where it is. Hook on. Yeah. That's where it's a good thing it came in a little bit less. Yeah. So McKinnis is anxious to get started. Um He's had a couple other projects slow down or fall through. So even as soon as this week, we get contracts and bonds approved. We'd like to do the exploratory dig up at the water tower to verify what we're looking on to there. That was based off of drawings as well from when that water tower was built. So then Wednesday, Thursday afternoon, we're gonna have a pre-con on site out there, just on site with the utilities and the contractors. And Get them started on this project sooner than later, the way it's looking. So, I do have contracts and bonds for McKinnis' four year performance payment maintenance bond. Uh, so, if there's any defective or friendship in materials encountered or discovered within four years, they're required to fix that. Um, as far as contract, it's a certificate price contract, for the pipe for pound of fittings, um, et cetera. So, we do recommend approval of contract and bond. What's with me? You are so inclined. You need a motion to approve the contract and the bonds? Yeah, I need a motion us on the pipeline to approve uh, resolution 2024 29, which is the contract and bond with some cash excavating. Is that a motion? That was a motion. Oh, All right. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, roll call vote. Lover? Aye. So maybe? Aye. Stone? Aye. This resolution is duly adopted. So after we get the permit for the wells, we'll get the quotes for replacing those points. Okay. 
The other item I had was supplemental agreement for adding the construction services to the project. We, as far as engineering line, it was through final design and bidding. We didn't have anything in the um, in the agreement as far as fee wise for the contract administration. So this is for uh, not to exceed thirty five thousand. That'll be for for the admin resident review and then our construction staging as well. And our plan is. We're going to GPS everything in as it goes as well. Since it's kind of an in a road ditch, there's not a lot to measure off of. So we're going to make sure we get it all surveyed in as they go. We don't have this issue in the future like we are right now. Okay. We'll make that motion to approve the supplemental agreement. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any comments or questions? Hearing none. All in favor, aye. 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 Both. Yeah, and I see you got your rate information laying out there. Yep, yeah, I'm ready for you. <laughs> I have not gotten a response back from uh she could do that from Holiday Inn. So go ahead and schedule a meeting with the group and give them 18 months. So like Yeah, we gotta do something. Yeah, I mean we've been losing money for almost two years. Pick a time, a duration, 18 months, within 18 months, you're gonna have to start paying. Everybody agrees with that. That's what we'll put together and that's what we'll present. Yeah, I would think so. That uh, gives them time. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ample. yeah. I need two. Need both of them? I get two. That should be a third one for you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. We're just going to have to talk and decide. We'll do that. So we're going to. We already gave people a bit of a head up. We're going to coordinate the meeting out there, talk about the pressure changes and rate changes at the same time. Yep. That's the meeting Friday where people yeah, they get questions on how this is going to change the outcome. They sign. They were signed. Okay. This is pretty good. Oh, I guess the other one you need to your records. Yeah. The other one you need to sign is right here. Yeah. So I didn't need an interruption. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then I put my rates back in time. Matter which, who wants to come to the meeting? I guess Mania or do you want to do a group or? I it, probably just one of us, and then we make final decision. AJ is not involved. The most AJ. I'm going to shirt dry. I can't make any promises. I don't yeah. be there, but I'll shirt dry. Just let us know when we can do that. Um, on no more Thursday. What time are you going to do it? That's. I'm talking the rate meeting. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yes, I will be there. Yeah. That's two copies signing the agreement. Yeah. Last time we did it, we had one person. Yeah. No. And that's usually what we've been doing. Yeah. Um, if it, I guess, if it comes to more than that and we have to have a second meeting, then we may get the whole table and all. But that's good. Well, I, I think uh, is water okay or do we need to raise that a little? I think they're we're right. We were going to raise that a little bit. Well, it was just to take little. care of coating this other tower. Yeah. So now we're going to be. But we probably still need a slight increase there, regardless. So, unless there's any other projects that we can think of that we need to start planning for. And yeah, well, with the wastewater treatment plant, it seems like every time we turn around. Yeah. There's something going on there. Wastewater plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never really Making it through that. <laughs> yeah, I guess if we got if we end up with ARP funds, we need and let's get these upgrades done. Yep. <clears throat> I don't think so. Would be good investment wise. So. Yep. And it's infrastructure. Yep. All right. Any other yep. Jason? Thank you, sir. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Okay, I wonder if Betco is still going to see her. And she was, she had something going on. She had something going on. She also had some work. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Water, waste water, real good on that. Department head discussion. Anybody, anything? We got uh, Caltech is supposed to be here this week. Uh, putting new computers in the cars. I got the computers on Friday, uh, so I've got six of them ready to go in. I'll be finishing up the rest of them here so that I just made sure we had some so when they got here, 
Do you have all 15? Yes, I do. Yeah, the uh their guy drove them up on Friday. The whole works. Okay. Yeah. All. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get them in and get them on this year's. Yeah. Any other department heads? Um, I will be on vacation for June eleventh that week. So I'll be out of country. Coming up. Coming up. All right. Um, it might stop raining before I leave. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so you like the 17th or the 18th? Uh, 18th. Then okay. send out an email beforehand if you would, please. Yep. Just to remind everybody. And I've touched base with Bill. He can provide some help. Okay. All right, so other department heads. Easy enough. Still so regular week, the yes. Uh, I had an EMA meeting. We uh, approved three different plans. One of them was a working on a disaster recovery plan that Mark had an ESF 15 and EFS 10 plan. The biggest discussion was about uh, the uh, we decided to go after a WCDA grant. For a new truck, we got forty-five thousand on this one because we want to upgrade it from a fifteen hundred to a twenty-five hundred because of the trailers that we're pulling around and that kind of stuff. So we did, we did tell Mark to go ahead with that and apply for a fall grant there. See if we can get something. Uh, that's all I had. The other question I got is with Randy at recycling. We all got that little email. Does he have the authority to pose a fine or not? I was just kind of wondering for my own. Well, if you don't, he should. Because he's got he's had a sign up there for years when yeah. we go down there that said if it's not marked as like a $25 fine. And I was just wondering after this little situation showed up, you know, that was one of the questions. And I don't know. Something should be reviewed too, because I'm pretty positive unless you live in North County, you cannot dump garbage out there. Just because you're a landowner, or even if you own an acreage, if you don't live on that acreage, you cannot dump garbage out. And somebody could just go and ask Randy what the parameters are. And there's yeah. got to be, it's got to be a paper somewhere to live. I Maybe just go, I'm going project. way back. I knew two yeah. people that used to watch the dump site out by me. One of them was my father, one of them was my mother, and was years ago, but they did not allow the people to dump. They did not live because there was one farmer that owned a lot of land in Worth County, did not live here. And they told him he couldn't dump there. He didn't like it. He understood it. Because, and truthfully, land doesn't produce any garbage. It's all acreage. It's actually when it should be paying property tax for it. would be all acreage. Just, that's what it was there for. That's what it was designed for, was recycling and getting rid of the garbage, garbage instead of having a rural pickup. And whether we need to review the policies out there or what, that's probably something we need to look at. We'll probably at. do. I'm sure we do. I'm just trying to avoid it. Yeah, I'm having to run into this one. Oh, yeah. And it's just random. I mean, it's not. Oh, it does. Yeah, what's once in five years, but it's still the idea we need to know what's going on down there. And the guy's selling the acreage, so he won't be bad. Yeah. I mean, I know Third Road of County, they have a policy that they advertise on the radio make sure you tarp your loads. And I mean, I don't know who imposes the fines there. Um, they they do right there when yeah. you go to, when you pay. Yes. You pay leave or when you pay. Then you pull in yeah. twenty five dollars on your yeah. on your bill when you pay right there, but this is different because you don't. Pay. Yeah, I would assume you pay the property law, taxes. You don't pay a fee at the county. Yeah. It's not like Saratoga County where you pay going across the scale. Yeah, like I said, you pull in there with no. Like, I mean, I'm a pickup. Like, you didn't have that property. You're talking land holding North Iowa. Yeah. 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 yeah, and you don't have to be in Saratoga to use that either. That's no yeah. anybody can go there, but you're you're going to pay except yeah. except yeah. technically Worth County rural residents are not a part of that. No. No. The cities are, or the rural residents are not. We vote. Yeah. So I go to Lake, Lake Mills. Mills. Yeah, go. Let's see, my son that does construction, when he did work on my house, he couldn't take it to Lake Mills. I had to take it to Lake Mills, or else he put it in his and went to Mesa's and paid for it. Yeah. That was just the easier way to do it. So, yeah. yeah. The cities all are in agreement with the landfill and have been for years. Yeah. Just the rural area never was. And then we got our own recycling center, which that's where the garbage is supposed to go. Yeah, otherwise it's supposed to go to Lake Mills. 
why we should look at that to see it. You know, so I'll send an email to Randy after we're done and uh, just ask him if he's got policies and rules. He can get them to us. Yep. So we can look at them. So we know what's going on. Yep. Because I never thought about, you know, you always see the sign there, but you never right. pay no attention because he's technically another one of your employees. Right. Yep. Right. That was just a question I had. Mm -hmm. yep. so the only thing I would add into that, I know, like with conservation, they cannot enforce any of their park fines because none of them are sworn officers. We have to go and if they got a problem like that, we go and take care of that for them. Yeah, and maybe I, it might be the same thing here. I'm sure. Well, this would be more of a civil thing, so I would definitely run it by Jeff Green and see what he would want to do. Let's yeah, let's look at the policy first. Yeah, let's look at what you got in the there. Then we'll run it by Jeff and say he, you know, on what can we do and what can't we? Do. How's this going to work? Yeah. So, yeah. So, that it. That was it for me. Sure. Work. Oh, um, well, I had the central automated detention facility. Fortunately, about two thirds of the meeting was closed session, so I can't discuss that. But we did also go over um, next year's budget. So it's about a forty-seven million dollar budget, which is huge. Which is not, which is not all detention. That's all the services there, and uh, we approved that. We approved uh, wages, wage increases for next year, um, and uh, I guess that was just a. Okay. It's a big budget. It is. Well, how many counties? Like 20 some? Uh, we're over 20 now. Right. We just actually, I think we approved two more that wanted to join. Uh, two. So, yeah, it's 20 something. Wow. Good. Um, I didn't have anything other than I met with Jason out there and kind of went through the water and wastewater stuff and with those guys. So, oh, yeah, they get to go to Emmitsburg today. So. Uh, yep. Anything we need to add to the agenda for future? Add some more drainage. Yeah, I was gonna say drainage here. Drainage. Yeah. Okay. I guess if not nothing else, I take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Make a second. Yeah. Okay. All in favor, aye. 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 Meetings adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm. Roland.